complimentary bottle by texting MAIL to 202020. During workouts, Test X180 Ignite raises levels of free testosterone in your body to help build lean muscle. Plus, it helps burn fat, fuel sexual desire, and improve performance. Now you can continue to feel like the real men that made this country great. Do yourself a favor. Do America a favor. Text NAIL to 202020 for your complimentary bottle. That's a complimentary bottle by texting NAIL to 2020. <laughs> News continues on this 11th day of June. Uh, markets have opened slightly lower this morning. Dow futures in the red to S&P futures uh, trading down one. The Asian markets are uh, recovering losses from earlier in the day and ending mostly higher as President Trump prepared to meet with North <coughs> Korean leader. Also, uh, the president's outburst at Canada's prime minister over trade. Uh, investors this week are looking to head uh, to meetings of uh, central banks, the U.S. Fed Reserve. Uh, will uh, make an announcement on Thursday. The European Central Bank also expects to give more details about whether it might bring a rate hike forward. And then on Friday, we have Jacob, uh, the Bank of Japan uh, due to give its latest policy update. Let's bring in our regular guest, Chris Versace, the Chief Investment Officer at Tomatica Research, also the author of Cocktail Investing, as well as the co-host of the Cocktail Investing Podcast. Good Monday morning. Happy Monday to you, my friend. Uh, thank you for joining us as always. We appreciate it. Uh, while we've talked in the past about markets really ignoring what's going on globally, not a lot to distract this week, Chris. Yeah, you know, man, you're right. I mean, we're, we're in that, uh, pat, that uh, seasonal time where during the season is kind of weighing down even the retailers that tended to have a, a later fiscal year closure. You know, we've seen that happen. We've got some economic data this week. You know, we've got the inflation indicators uh, for May, the CPI, the PPI, um, with industrial production and retail sales. You know, some good data to kind of watch the flow. But I think by and large, it is going to be exactly as you said. Uh, it's going to be a monetary policy, whether it's, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and trade, given what's going to happen uh, on the 12th of tomorrow uh, in Singapore with President Trump and um, North Korea. So let's, let's talk about that for a moment. What are you looking for, if, if anything? I mean, uh, take, us, take us through uh, an investor's mind when you Yeah, I mean, you know, Trump, you know, I, I think 
interest rates go? What does that mean for this outstanding debt? What is the <clears throat> consumer disposable income? And is that a headwind for consumer spending in the economy? That's, that's the big question. Yeah. Um, we know your, one of your partners, Lenore L. Hawkins, is out of Italy. I know you talk to her on a regular basis, obviously, with the Cocktail Investing Podcast. And uh, I'd like to get an update on, on what the feeling, uh, the, the European markets, that kind of thing. Italy's new government said they are not planning on a blank break breaking away from the euro that has to provide a sense of calm over there. No, I think that does. You know, uh, many of the real questions is going to be, and I, I think she would agree with this, is, you know, a company with a debt GDP of 130%, they are still talking about flashing taxes and raising fiscal spending. How do you, you know, the math doesn't really hold for that, so something has to give. Not surprising uh, that they would say then that they are not going to rock the boat with the euro, that they have all these other problems in the country that they need to deal with, and if they need additional funding, well, you know, so rock the boat. That's their safety net. I knew it immediately when you said they were planning on raising uh, spending <laughs> yeah. and, and, and nothing to support it. So, yeah. um, Chris, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh, you know what? Yes, Chris, I want to...